Well, hi there. How y'all doing? Tell you what, it's another day. It's another day. Hope your day's going good. Hope your week's going good. We're here to help spread some more Southern life enlightenment today. Before we get to the question, though, I got to tell you, speaking of Southern life, we got the funniest little old preacher. Well, I think he's funny. And he thinks he's funny. So at least two of us think he's just the funniest little old preacher. Anyway, this past Sunday, his sermon, he started out with something from Mr. Jeff Foxworthy himself. Now, he tied it into his sermon, but I don't remember how. Anyway, this was funny. He said, you might be a redneck if your wife comes out of the bathroom and says, honey, you got to get this transmission out the tub so I can take a bath. I laughed. Oh, I thought that was so funny. I just laughed. And then I remembered something. I had a flashback. Not this past holiday season, but the holiday season of 2016, Christmas, Thanksgiving, I don't remember which one. Anyway, I was over at my friend Agnes's house. I went into the bathroom. There was a ham and a turkey taking a bath in the tub. I looked at them. They looked at me. I turned around, walked out. I looked at Agnes. I said, Agnes, why is there a ham and a turkey taking a bath in your tub? Now, I don't know about you, but I reckon if a transmission in the tub makes you a redneck, a ham and a turkey taking a bath in your tub sure enough makes you a redneck. Don't you think so? Well, Agnes, honey, I hate to break it to you like this, but there you go. If you didn't know it before, you are a redneck, honey. What? Why do you have a ham and a turkey taking a bath in your tub? My goodness. Oh, that's my friends, though. That's my friends. All right. Well, let's get on to the question at hand. This comes from Miss Abby. Abby wants to know, people from the South, why do you guys monogram everything? Well, I'm going to say there's at least two answers to this. First of all, around here, most people have a bushel of kids. And when you got a bushel of brothers and sisters, and you don't have a whole lot of stuff of your own, and you've got something, especially something that you really like, and they come and try to take it. And you say, oh, give me that back, give me that back. And they say, no, it ain't got your name on it. Why, by George, you want to be able to look at them and say, yes, it does have my name on it. That's one reason we monogram everything. Second of all, when you were at the Bunko game, okay, and everybody done been to the 31 party and got the same blame bag, if you get your name put on it, it's going to cut down on the confusion of, whose is this? Whose is this? Whose is this? There you go. Easy. Simple. All right. That wasn't too bad. But y'all hold on. I'm telling you, some of these questions... I just don't know. All right, well, we'll see you for the next one.